My name is Melika Razavi. I'm a magician, motivational speaker, and I play poker. I am from Iran. I have moved to South Africa since I was 15 years old with my mother. I, I haven't been back to Iran uh, since 2016 as I competed for Miss Global. Uh, I was nominated as Miss Global Iran and I compete in the beauty pageant. And as beauty pageant is forbidden in Iran, I was actually quite uh, scared to actually go back to my country. The things that I do, gambling is forbidden in Iran. Uh, beauty pageant is forbidden in Iran. Being a magician is forbidden in Iran. So basically I do everything that is uh, forbidden for a person. Actually, poker came first in my life when I was nine years old. Um, the group of friends of my mother, when they were visiting Iran, um, they were playing poker. And I remember I sat down and I was so amazed. I was so fascinated by the game and I fell in love with it. I learned how to play poker when I was nine and I started playing home games in South Africa when I was 16 years old uh, with my friends. And it took off from there that I, I just thought this is a path that I want to take and I did anything in my power that, to be able to become who I am today in poker. Uh, when I came to South Africa at the age of 15, I went to a show uh, which was a South African guy, Larry Suffer. He's a well-known South African magician. And I watched him perform and I fell in love with magic and I wanted to learn and that's what happened that I actually started creating my own magic and I taught how to do magic myself. Um, Empress Palace is beautiful. I mean, uh, there, a lot of people think of um, Johannesburg as being dangerous city, but to be honest, I've been living here for 15 years. This place is beautiful as you can see behind me. Uh, you can come here, relax, have fun, meet a lot of great uh, South African people and actually enjoy your tournament. Being a woman poker player, it has its advantage and disadvantages. For me, because I'm an attractive woman, a lot of people think I get it easy or uh, there's so many things that goes behind the scene that I hear that, oh, she has it easy, it comes to her. But the thing is, I worked really hard to get where I am today. And I never relied on anyone. I studied really hard. I lost a lot of money playing at the beginning um, until I learned it, but I never gave up on what I believed in. And that's this disadvantage that I get a lot. This game, it doesn't matter if you're a man or if you're a woman, it's a game of math and it's a game of knowledge that you have to understand the game to sit down and play. I have been told most of my life since I was a child, because I grew up in a country that they say, you cannot do this, you're not allowed to do that. I grew up in my head hearing that I cannot and you won't and you shouldn't. A game of poker is known as a game of male. It's known for it. But why women cannot participate? A lot of women feel insecure they're like, oh, it's a game of men and we shouldn't participate. No, but I encourage women to play. Uh, I'm a motivational speaker. I do go to high schools and um, colleges in South Africa and do motivational speaking for them. And the reason why I get into motivational speaking, it was because of my past and the, the story of my life, basically, of where I was before and where I am today. It's a huge twist to it. People will always get amazed when they hear it. And that's why I thought of bringing, it's, it, it's for women empowerment, basically. My book is for women empowerment, the women that have been suppressed, the women that has been told that you cannot do, you're not allowed to do. And also, no matter where you are in your life, if you put your mind into something, you will get there no matter what except if you don't allow anyone to tell you that you can or not. It's only your own mind and your belief. You're gonna open the pack for me? Yeah. Please. Just open the cards and take the jokers out and just give it a shuffle. Can I drop it? Just, just, as well. just check if the normal pack of cards, you can show it to yeah. the camera. Yeah, looks like they're all there. Straight flush, royal flush, everything's there. <laughs> Perfect. I would like you to actually shuffle the cards. Give them a nice shuffle. And when you're done shuffling, you can pass me the cards.
you can you can shuffle if you want more. Perfect. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, give it another shuffle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shuffle one time, and I'm going to ask you to take one card only. Take one card. Take one card. Yep. So I'll hold the cards in my back, and I want you to show the cards to the camera. Are you done? Yep. Okay, put it in the middle of a pack and shuffle as much as you like. Okay. So basically there is no way for me to say what card he picked because he showed the camera and he put it in the middle of a pack and he, he shuffled. Yeah. I would like to take the card, I'm going to give it another shuffle. Okay, let's see. I'm going to make it to two different packs of cards and I'm going to ask actually Sancho if you can come here. I'm gonna make it to two different pack of cards. Like this. I want you to choose a pack, please. Are you sure? 100%? You don't want to change your mind? Okay, you can hold that. Did everyone see the card? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you to think about the card and blow on a pack. Can you blow on a pack? Okay, so I'll hold the cards in front of me, as you can see. I'll, put, I'll place it in my mouth.